Hi, I'm Helen and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you a really easy way to paint a beautiful blue jay. The first thing I'm going to do is paint the whole canvas white and I've thinned the white paint down a little with some water. Then I've mixed white Prussian blue and a little cobalt blue and I'm using a large flat brush to dab the paint vertically onto the canvas. This is going to give us a nice frosty blue blurry background with just the indication of maybe a few trees or something similar in the distance. Of course, if you want to paint a spring or autumn background for your blue jay, you can use exactly the same technique. Just change your colours up to either springtime colours or autumn colours. Once that's dry, I'm going to mark in where the branch is going to be that our blue jay will be sitting on. I'm mixing two types of brown, a dark brown and a light brown. We'll block out the branch with our dark brown colour first. I'm using a pastel pencil and I'm going to sketch out my blue jay but don't worry if you don't want to do this you can either find a picture online that you want to trace and I've also put a link in the description for a free traceable if you'd like to use one exactly like mine. To make it really easy as we go we're going to paint in all of the black areas and markings on the blue jay. I usually start with the eye and work my way outwards. I've mixed a little Tharlow blue and cobalt blue together and that's going to give us that beautiful blue jay colour. Again we're just blocking in the background at this point so we'll paint in the head and the back of the bird. And all the rest of the bird is going to be painted in with white. I'm still using a medium round brush for this, but do feel free to use a small round brush, especially on the head, if you need a little bit more accuracy. Now we've got a small round brush and we can start slowly adding in the details. I'm starting on the head again, I've mixed up a bluey grey colour which is basically black, a little titanium white and a tiny amount of cobalt blue and I'm using this light grey 
to add some shadow areas around the bird's head and on its body. Don't worry if you make any mistakes here because you can always go over it with white or another colour so just do your best and keep working on it until you get a look that you're happy with. For this section I made the grey slightly more blue by adding more cobalt blue and I also thinned it down quite a bit just to give it a nice wash on the top and a faint blue tinge. Pine needles are super simple to do. I've mixed my sap green with a little Prussian blue and I'm basically just using lines to draw in all the different lines in different directions of the pine needles. The next step is to add some shadow to the branch so I'm just using black and a little raw umber for that with slightly more black added this time. And then we can also add the highlights on the top which is exactly the same colour as we used for the main branch to block it in with a lighter brown and for that I've added more white. I've added a little white to my dark green and I'm using exactly the same technique again on my pine needles with the lighter colour. Next just drop in those little piles of snow wherever you think that they might fall. Slowly build it up, it might need a couple of coats to get it nice and bright and white. Just keep going until you think it looks about right and you're happy with the result. And again, don't worry if you put it anywhere you shouldn't. Just let it dry, go over the top of it with your dark brown or even hide it with a few pine needles. Also, another little tip is if there's a section of the bird that you're not quite happy with and you struggled to paint, if you can cover it with a few pine needles or a little snow, just do that. Don't stress about it too much. We'll add a few little snowflakes to make it look extra frosty. Thanks for painting with me today. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, please hit that like button for me and I hope you like to watch one of these tutorials next.